what is up guys, Coleman one here, and today I'm bringing you an After Effects tutorial on how I made the effect of this clear text in my edit, all of that. I did it in this example here, and then also in another cinematic here. Ah, uh, you can see it right here. And it looks pretty nice, it's clean, it's, it's simple, and, it, and it's not that hard to do. So let's get right into this. So here is my basic cinematic. I don't have it motion tracked, but you can motion track it. I'm just not doing it for uh, tutorial purposes. So I'm just going to turn off the color correction. So just what, now what you want to do is create a text object, just like you would normally. I'm going to type all that, just like I did in the um, edit. And I'll just drag it to the center. The next step would be to create an adjustment layer. So for a Mac, you can press Option Command Y, or you can just come up to Layer New Adjustment Layer. So now you want to drag this adjustment layer just beneath the All That layer. Click uh, on this Track Mat option. Click for where it says None. Make it Alpha Mat of All That or whatever your text says. So now this text goes away, but that's all right. What you want to search up is transform. Put that onto the adjustment layer. And as soon as I scale this up, you can see the edges of the words of all that. They appear. You can see everything that's beneath that adjustment layer is getting scaled up, which creates contrast in between these two layers, allowing you to see it. So it's not super clear or anything so I'm gonna add some more effects but what I did in all that was I went from about 150 and I keyframed it and to the end of the end of the cinematic oh, I probably put it around 300 it just makes it um it makes it like moving and it makes it just look a little smoother and nicer so the next thing I did was I added an invert so you can see it a little bit better. So on this invert, I set it to YIQ. And you can see here that you can see the blues a little bit better now. And it kind of makes it pop just a little bit. The next thing I did was just lowered this down probably 15. Just to make it blend in a little bit more. I also added a glow, or maybe two glows. I dragged this one on and I pretty much left the settings the same and then I duplicated it well it kind of gets washed out on this cinematic but the cinematic I was working with at the time was kind of dull so I needed that second glow but right now it's pretty good I'm gonna drag my color correction above everything so when I turn it on it will affect the text as well and then on the all that or on the um, adjustment layer I'm gonna change the opacity to probably 60 maybe maybe 75 now you can see that the text is see-through and it's showing everything that's behind it just scaled up which allows you to see it and then also with the keyframed scale it's kind of mo it moves and it makes it much more fluid and nicer and now you can motion track this just as you normally would motion track text and it looks really nice and last thing would be to turn on your color correction and now you have see-through text that stands out and looks really clean and simple especially motion tracked and uh, it's not too hard so yeah I hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, thanks for watching please leave a like if you enjoyed or if it helped you and yeah I'm out thanks